Hello folks and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 and the Turnit campaign. And here we are going to take on Thraction Primaris, which we hit here by dint of our Vanguard forces. We're already there, which is going to be absolutely lovely, absolutely beautiful. Um, all the ships are already going to have it like are already going to be at light casualties, and all the all the turret defense points are going to be at fifty percent. So this should be a walk in the park. This should be a complete walk in the park. Uh, we get to deploy the entire fleet. Just about. Let's go straight in. Take Thracian Primaris and basically hold it forever. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of biomass in Thracian Primaris for us to take. A lot of biomass in Thracian Primaris for us to take. It's very important. Okay, so here we are. This is the fleet. It's pretty much, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a little bit damaged, this fleet, unfortunately. But we knew that was going to be the case. Just switch over to reload mode. Who needs to... You need to... Spawning sacks. You need spawning sacks. Uh, you need spawning sacks. You need spawning sacks as well. Might as well. There's no real downside to that. Um, right, those are alive. Who we have actually over here then? We have... Engines. 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 And they don't seem to have any escort ships, although... I'm not necessarily believing that right now. I just want just just send one, one fighter squad just to see what we're dealing with here. Instead of fighter squad just to deal with that. Yeah, one fighter squad one fighter squad is heading to each ship. Hopefully, get some preliminary bombardment done. Did you just ram each other? You just rammed it. For God's sake, can you not? Please. Right, pause. What we're we dealing with here. Didn't quite work out for you, did it? Too many turrets. Yeah, fair enough. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Oh my god, can you. Oops, sorry. No, I, I clicked outside the window. Thank you. Pause. Right, okay. Are we back online? We're back online. They, well, they, they really can't see us, can they? They're still, they're still stealth. They literally can't see us. Deck damaged. I uh, haven't got any engines left, so we're going to immediately lick infiltration you. Multiple lick infiltrations of the front lines. That's uh, V. Critical hit, much damage done there. Call to arms happening there. Well, they're still like... Okay, there you go. Finally identified we are. Uh-huh. There. Uh, feeder tentacle, please. And then you can go over there. Bonk. Deck destroyed. Immediately had to do that. Weapon destroyed there as well. Good. Not working out alright. Alright, come on. Turn around. We're gonna need... I wanna get those, those torpedoes out as soon as possible. Okay, we're gonna... On, uh, we're gonna just, just turn that on just real quick. Drifting hulks. Torpedoes are out. Mm. Got the gear. Gonna have to get out of the way. They scuttled. Oh my god, they're gonna hit their own ship. Nice. I approve. I approve wholeheartedly. Mm. 
Okay, cool. Uh, we can go straight into that. And that. And... Oop, so you, you can... Yeah, you can do that there. That there. Need to get out of the way. Need to do over there. Uh, you can you can do proper boarding as well now. Proper boarding. Feed the tentacles. Proper boarding there. Proper boarding there. Look at that. Look at that D attack. So what do you have here? Your engines isn't your engines are still active. That's impressive. Uh Mutiny over there. Fire our board over there. This thing has been hit. Kingdom come. Attack that one, please. There's not so many boarding situations. I don't really need anything else. Okay, they're both mutinying. Give me that. They're both mutinied. Alright, turn around and hit, we'll hit them with a... Uh, hit them with one of these. With one of these bad boys. Donk. All right, that's a drifting Hulk. That is now a drifting Hulk. All right. Get out of range. Yeah, go that way. Head that way. Uh, hang on. Crap. Oh god, this is, you're gonna take that hit, aren't you? Okay, yeah, keep going this way. Keep going this way. Brave for impact. Keep going this way. Shields up as well. Good. Alright, let's, let's get the entire fleet, shall we? Alright, entire fleet, move over here. Turn off that. Speed up. Move, we shall prepare. Okay. You, in fact, aren't going to just leave the area, because you're so low on health right now. Go away. Stay alive. Just leave for the time being. Actually, you lot, can you get in there? Because just, just, just stealth yourselves up a little bit. You know, just be nice and stealthy. Learn to stealth up. Good. Got a stealth. Keep stealth. Move up. Okay, right. Uh, slow down over here because you need to reclamation pool reclamation pool reclamation pool reclamation pool specifically so we get our so at least we can have one wave of fighters back per thing hmm, just going to go for With a lot of you, uh, uh. the fighter waves coming out. Any boarding going to be happening here? phone, sorry. Apologies. You may have heard the vibration or not. I can't tell. Turn, 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 turn. I think that hit. Um, that hit as well. There you go. Fighter Harpy Wing's going to go out. And just destroy everything there. Boom. Good. We have Thracian Primaris. Which is going to be a huge, huge boon to us going forward. Huge boon to us going forward. We very much want Thracian Primaris. It's important. 
very, very important. That's not it. That's not it. Ooh, we got a battle plan. Hurrah. Didn't even notice that. That, and... You now hit level 4 as well. Nice. You now have also got speed 4. Which is very useful. But now we have Thracian Primaris is under our control. Thracian Primaris will definitely be getting a gestation nest. Definitely be getting a gestation nest. It's a, it's a planetoid, isn't it? The planetoid. It's a moon nest and an asteroid nest. So... I'm continuing to find out what exactly you'll be able to get out of this. It's definitely because it's definitely adding um it's definitely added the uh, construction points together. Um, right, what's happening this turn? Um, we're waiting one turn for this lot to get fixed up, and then we'll do the Lord mission. Basically, that's what that's what's going to happen there. We're going to wait one turn. Okay, they're spreading down there. Enjoy, guys. I'm not, I don't care about those anymore. And there's this Tessera. A shame to lose Evers' Tessera, but it'll be okay in the long run. Chaos, Ultra Necrons. Chaos, um, Macrons. Right, Scarus. Yeah. It's trying to get a little bit more afraid now. Way less than I thought, to be honest, so we can go straight in there. Low urgency, that's fine. It's not a problem at all. You now have full control, which is Zeldari threat by one. Scarus is ours. Scarus is totally, totally ours. We are getting three points per turn. Two from the moon nest, one from the planet... Sorry, the asteroid nest. It's good. We are two turns from a glut... From a complete and total glut of um, biomass, uh, we also have the second ancestor. We, we will get the the second um, ancestral genome for jet propulsion. We're what? One thousand four hundred rep uh, reputation, whatever progression, from being able to get hive ships, which will be lovely. Um, but yes, right now we're going to do the Caliban mission. Because we just can. Because we can. Um, right, folks, sorry about that. I suffered a bit of a coughing fit. Um, yeah, I just coughed my lungs out there. Um, you might be able to hear the sweet in my mouth. Yeah, that was an unpleasant moment. Um, we could take Sanctuary. But while I was coughing, I, had, I was thinking that maybe you want to have a bit of a stronger fleet now. Um, you got an asteroid nest, which is not great, but where's the best place we need to get reef? Um, if we want to get extra, if we want to get extra, if we want to, if we want to beef these fleet, this fleet up a bit, because they're all they're allowed to get an extra three hundred and eleven, which means it's enough that they can they can all get pretty much an extra devourer, which means I want to think about where I'm going to put you. Um, Belial has that. Arius Major technically has a gestation nest for an asteroid nest, right? Technically. That's going to be a huge waste of resources to do it that, that way. Um, Medusa has... Yeah, probably Medusa is the best place for it, because of the planetoid nest is there. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to, start, we're going to head back to Medusa with this, with this fleet here. So we can get you repaired next turn and refitted. Um, uh, let's see. You are active. Um, and you're slowly repairing. But we need to make a move and see what we're going to do. Harvest has it's a planetoid nest there. This is Stromlo. Has got uh, cosmic tethers. Hexen. Planetoid nest. Natural biotoxin. Definitely don't want to do that. Um, hmm. 
A lot of planetoid nests up and running here. Gudrun. Corrosive gastric pouch. It's amazing. That I want. I'm going to convert 10% of the total defeat's point value into the biomass. That's really useful. That's cannibalism. Because we got now... We're really working on that. I want to get. I want to get the other one. That what that third one there. That looked really useful. Um. All right. What are you two doing? Next turn we can attack Hexen, for example. That's not too bad. We can attack Harvest now. We'll attack Harvest now. I want to build up the other fleet in Caliban before we head back. Um, we can go to Skyrim. But there's no reason to get Skyrim. Skyrim is literally just does not work. It's, they have no interest at all in getting Skyrim, to be honest. Just because, eh. Um, so we need to get what? Well, we need to get Mrs. Stromlo, Ulant, and Vigera. The harvest will do for now. Um, what's not deploying? Yeah, that'll do me. Thank you very much. Let's get in there and spit gob on them, as we usually do. Um, oh, we got the unknown. Um, that's cool. Right. So you should propose uh, engines, escort, engines, engines, escort, escort, engines. So we do we sit and we sit pretty inside asteroid fields and let them come to us. Because they're orcs and they're stupid. That's the real reason. Because they're orcs and they're stupid. Well you can scan, can you? My god. Could you always do that? Not sure, because of the that patch change. Yeah. What is just dying? All the acid, all the, all the acid pains. Look at that. It's just melting. How will that work out for you, um, Ram ship? Yeah, Jamie, like, how will that work out for you? Because I don't think it worked out very well at all. See ya. Good, good. Nice, hang on. You, can you teleport? You can teleport. You can teleport all the way back here. It's gonna work out really well for you. Because you're gonna be arriving there.
boarding this guy. And basically doing a lot of damage to them. I swear these things take extra they must take extra damage from from um Ooh. Extra extra damage from the rear, that's what they do. They take extra damage from the rear. Okay. Another way. Okay, you need to leave. Pause. Yeah, you, you're getting out of here. You're just leaving. Because before you just die, because you, you're about to. Five second rush cooldown because I need to get out of here. A lot of damage happening back here. A lot of very unpleasant damage is happening back there. Okay, mutiny there, mutiny there, mutiny there. A lot of mutinies happening. A lot of mutiny, a lot of death. The drone's still alive, my god. Don't need to dodge that. Avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Good. I right, turn to get the torpedoes out. Mm. Boarding torpedoes are active. Donk. Get donked, son. Nice drifting Hulk. Which I think, I think is that, yes, we win. Good. If you get the bio drone alive after all that, it's going to be pretty decent. That's the big question. Do you manage to keep the bio drone alive? Because if you put the bio drone alive, it's going to be a nice save for us. I don't think I lost the bio drone at the very end. I wasn't, I wasn't looking at the right side of the screen at the very end, so I didn't actually see. Yeah, Biodrone's still alive, with a sliver of its health. We have Harvest under our control. And Harvest has got Space Titan Migration Route and a Planetoid Nest. Although we do have, ooh, sorry, we do have Planetoid Nests here, so we could put points into there, or we can put in Spore Mine Clouds to start spreading the, the Spore Mine love around the systems. I think I do want to put that down. Start spreading the spore mine love. Uh, okay, you're done, you're done, you're done. You lot are heading back to Medusa to get some ships put in here. Um, Belial. No fleets. Nemesis Tessera, one fleet. And so far, just slowly just consuming food over there. And Bellis Corona. This game is gonna get is getting assaulted. Anyway, I have no idea how long the episode is actually now because of the coughing fit in the middle caused me to stop recording and I actually didn't keep my recording. I think I've got about half an hour, hopefully. We'll find out once the edit happens. Anyway, I'll see you then. Bye.